Get him out for playtime. Well, you don't want to go down there? Hmm? the door. Go. You guys are huge. Come on. Stop. Go. Oh my god. Out the door. There you go. There's one. They all are. Look at this one. Two. Come on. Go. Go. No, not in the wall.
Look at this one. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Cats may eat a fish here and there, but fishing cats got their name for a reason. In a very unfeline-like fashion, fishing cats dive face first into the water to ambush their prey. They'll wait by the water's edge, sitting perfectly still until they see a fish. Number 5. Silk Moths We were just speaking of this creature, and you can see the resemblance to the poodle moth. In its larva, or caterpillar stage, it's known as the silkworm, and that insect has a huge economic importance because it's a primary producer of raw silk. Breeding silkworms for silk is a practice that dates back some 5,000 years in China. This species of silk moth has been domesticated over those millennia, as a result, they are unable to fly and their pigmentation has faded, hence their white coloration. Number 6. Fluffy Cow In fact, there are several secrets surrounding these big, plush toys. First of all, it's not a new breed. All these lovely cows belong to the breeds already known. The thing is, they are looked after by special people whose work it is to wash, dry, and use products to style the animals so they look as fluffy as they do. What is more, it is necessary to maintain them daily, and it will take months of regular grooming till they get this lovely look of kids' toys. It is done mostly for shows, and it typically takes about two hours to bring them into form before a performance. Hairsprays are used to fix their fuzz, and natural oils are applied to make their fur look shiny. How much time do you spend in front of the mirror? Look, she's chasing me. Ha ha ha. 